Hey everybody, I'm Sundance C. Giovanni, and I'll be your color commentator today along with Chris Puckett, your play-by-play -play man for some Halo 3 action known as the Strive Championship Series. Now that's 30 weeks of intense Halo 3 action for those of you who are new to this. Now before we get started, we're going to go down to the floor, we're going to meet the two teams who are going to duke it out, and then we're going to get right into the action. Well today's battle is between two of our MLG juggernauts in blue. We got straight rip, and that's team captain T-squared, neighbor, one of the best support players in the game, Elmite Warrior, and legit. And then in red, it's going to be Triggers Down, Team Captain SK, Fear Itself, one of my favorite guys to watch, Hysteria, and of course, Victory X. Today, our two teams are going to be facing off on Team Slayer Construct. First team to 50 kills wins the game. Of course, look for the Rockets up top, the Sniper down low. We're going to get it started right after the break. Hey. The ridiculously long-lasting gum. New Stride Sweet Berry. So here we go. We're on board with Legit from Straight Ripping. He's a support player, but he's also a nasty slayer. You see him going to work, fighting three players, bottom, middle. Now getting an angle, using that lift to get a height advantage, putting shots on Victor X and Hysteria. And Neighbor is going to push in and help him clean up the kill. So great team shot already from Straight Ripping. We're watching as Legit is going to go and try and lock down the top, though. You saw him just take out SK. SK had the rockets, so the power weapons are down. Here's Victor X, and Victor X is going to take him out. We're jumping on board with him as he's making his way back towards the lobby. Here's Neighbor. There's the back smack, and that's going to give Victor X the sniper rifle. Trying to use it against T-squared, but Hysteria is going to help him out instead with the battle rifle. It's all tied up at 5. Actually, straight ripping, taking the lead, but Victor X trying to change that, and he's oh. using the sniper rifle. Pretty well already, Sonny. And that illustrates the topic right here, which is top control on Construct, how important it is to have that lobby. We've seen it before in Stride Championship matches. The team that controls the top typically wins. Triggers down needs to hold top if they want to have a shot. Triggers down, definitely the better setup team of the two, but straight ripping. They're playing extremely aggressive so far from what I've seen. Here's SK. Here's the BR battle, and Elmite's going to win that one. So it's 11-8 to eight straight ripping, still with a three-kill lead. And Elmite's going to check down bottom middle, make sure no one's spawning. The rest of his team spread out across the top. There's Victory X. Elmite trying to finish off the kill. SK spawns as well. Elmite picks up the kill on Victory. And check this out. Neighbor jumping down, trying to help out Elmite, but legit steals the kill on SK. It's 14 to 9 as Straight Rippin extends their lead to 5. Great team shot so far as Straight Rippin. And you know what? Aggressive play. I got to say, it's working really well. It's not letting triggers down set up. Give the advantage to straight ripping so far. Normally when we see teams play here, they're just sitting up top, watching those portals, playing patiently. I don't think I've seen anyone from straight ripping stop moving. Neighbor looking down low, spots fear itself. Thought that grenade was going to finish the kill, dropping down to see if he needs to do it. Instead, he's going to focus his attention back towards the top, hitting the lift. Spots a player there on open ramp, doesn't charge after. Instead, he's going to focus his attention over to the close side of the map. Charges through close purple. Here's Victory X, oblivious, and Neighbor is going to pick up the easy kill. It's 21-14 to 14 straight rip, and now with a 7-kill lead. And they're just continuing to slaughter triggers down. Check it out, Neighbor charging right in after SK, but the grenade is going to take him out. We're jumping on board with the captain of triggers down, SK, as he is trying to get his team fired up here after that big double kill and getting a little help from Hysteria there on T-squared. They're only down by five here. This is going to be big for them. If SK can get them some momentum right here and get them back into top control, maybe they can go on a run, but I don't see it happening without some more control of the power weapons. Well, SK was taken down by Legit. Fear itself quickly picked up the assassination on Legit. And now he's pushing on open side of the map. Just saw T-squared going up the orange, but instead he's going to clean up the kill on Elamite. Now, Fear itself, known for having an amazing long-range BR. He's trying to use that there across the map, but he's hit by a grenade, forced to let his shields recharge. Yeah, you're right, Puckett. And that's one of the reasons that Triggers Down is such a setup team, because on a map like Construct, obviously, having Fear itself be able to shoot players across the map and finish those kills, that's important. But so far, Straight Rip is not playing into it. They're charging, they're being aggressive, and they're not letting Triggers Down get comfortable. Well, SK is charged by two players, it looks like, but all four members from Triggers Down were waiting there, and now he's pushing out with no shield cleaning up a triple kill on El my warrior that was a huge spark of momentum for triggers down now they're trying to push close side getting out of the orange base trap here 
They've got to put this to use here. This is a chance for them to change the whole momentum of the game. Well, SK was afraid to run out, tried to back down, and he ended up paying for it as T-Squared came up with rockets. But right now, we're on board with Neighbor, who's got the sniper rifle, and he is looking for some headshots down the orange tunnel. Stead switches to the BR, and with help from Elmite, and legit cleans up Victory very easily. And now check this out as he starts spawn killing Victory. Hit him once in the body, just barely missing the headshot. But Neighbor is charging in fearlessly, cleaning up kills on SK, and he's continuing to push the pressure on Triggers down, but he's finally going to get charged by two players. We're jumping on board once again with the captain of TD. It's SK going long-range battle against T-Squared there. Once again with no shields, he's hiding back orange. Moving around to the other side of the map, though, trying to help out Hysteria, who just picked up a double kill. He was late, and Neighbor was able to pick up the kill. In this point in the game, you cannot be trading kills like that. With straight ripping just seven kills away, they need to go on a big run. And again, I can't say it enough. They need some power weapons, and they need to set up and stop this charge from straight ripping. Well, straight ripping just six kills away, I don't even know if they're going to have time. I don't think it's possible. Fear itself going one-on-one -on -one against Neighbor, and then Elmite came out to join the party. We're jumping on board with him now as he continues to put the pressure on TD. There's the grenade for 47, taking out Fear itself. Victory picks up the kill, but straight ripping just three kills away. Make that two as Legit picks up another beatdown. 48 to 40, Elmite moving up top orange, and he is behind the TD setup. There's the grenade, and there is number 50 as it connects with Victory X. Straight Rippin wins it, 50 to 41. Huge play out of Straight Rippin right there. Amazing team shot. Triggers down, just got outplayed. At the end, they made it close, but that was because Straight was rushing in there trying to finish the game. Neighbor with 14 kills, legit with 18. That's solid play. On the other side, only positive players fear itself. The fact of the matter is they were never able to get comfortable. Straight Rippin dominates. Could not handle the Straight Rippin team shot. We'll be back with a Dr. Pepper more to a moment right after the break. You know, scientific tests have proven that when you drink Dr. Pepper slowly, the 23 flavors taste even better. Hey, I get it, because half my life's been in slow motion. Watch this. Slower is better. Trust me, I'm a doctor. That was good in Dr. K right there. And now for your Dr. Pepper more to it moment. This one coming from the captain of Triggers Down. It's SK picking up the big double kill and then with no shields continues to charge over and cleans up the triple kill on El Might Warrior. All right, that's going to do it for this week's edition of the Stride Championship Series. But don't worry, we will be back next week with an all-new episode right here at MLGPro.com.